Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Graham. Welcome to Torn Tales. I was looking for something new to play and I just so happened to just receive Once a key for this. Time, so I think there's going to be a bit of story set up. So let's, let's spend some time setting the mood here, getting into the game. Once upon a time, there was a lonely, bitter old man. A bookbinder who longed to write stories that would touch the world's heart, though he was said to not have one himself. I mean, he must have a heart, I'll right? He would not be alive otherwise. Stories. I shall rewrite theirs. I will tear down their heroes. I will make their tragedies my triumph and make them see the truth. This is a fucking Let me hateful have dude. The wolf by my side. The honesty of its hunger. Give me the wicked witch and the evil ogre. Give me the darkest depth of the human soul. I will bind them together with blood and give the world a new story. <laughs> a lesson for them all to remember. This guy just said a lot Never of really sinister shit and then he... Then he capped it off by saying he just wants to teach everyone a lesson, which makes it sound like he's just scolding a five-year-old rather than trying to take over the entire world. Torn Tales. Oh yeah, I actually don't know a lot about this game. I just saw some preview footage for it, and it actually looked pretty sweet based on the little bit that I saw. It reminded me of like Diablo, but you're playing like three characters at once or something, and I fucking love me some Diablo, so I was really stoked to give this game a whirl. So two things I should say right off the top, I did receive this game for free from the developers, so thank you to them for sending that to me, and this game is still in beta, so everyone keep that in mind if there's any weird major like game breaking or even minor glitches that you notice keep in mind that this game is still under development it's not 100 percent complete so please be wary of that and forgiving of those i'm not sure to what extent this is still under development but if you notice some weird missing bits and pieces don't hold it against the game as a whole i'll try to keep that in mind as well so i think we just need to dive right into the game here so we're going to need our empty slot load game that is strange because i have actually not played this that is really weird. So uh, I'll just delete that right away. Once upon a time, there was a girl whose skin was white as snow. She fled her wicked stepmother and found safety in the forest with seven dwarves. Holy shit, this game actually this is based off of like real fairy tales? I wasn't trees. expecting that. That could be really cool, paths. actually. I do not know these trees. I do not know these paths. How will I ever find my way home? Just then, a foul beast appeared. Its teeth sharp. Are we kind of mixing together seized. Red Riding Hood and Snow White Before right Snow now? Snow White could do anything to fend off the nightmare. Oh god, he and fucked him up. Wait, what did it say the there? Did it say the end? <laughs> the end. He shot Marian, the royal wolf in the fucking heart. The man the people hailed as Robin Hood. No. Forgive me. That's gonna be my team? Snow White and Robin Hood? And it then is who is the third character? I, can't, I already can't think back. You should be careful where you wander, me lady. These woods can be treacherous for one so fair. Whoa! I've Snow White's magic! Myself. These past years, friend Archer, said Snow White. Few of them have shown any interest in fairness. But pray, whose forests are these? Which king do you serve? One who is a better symbol than sovereign, I fear, sighed the outlaw, though his warmth never wavered. Come, you are not the only lost soul I have stumbled across this day. I don't know if she's a lost soul. You didn't really save her after all. Oh, Jekyll and Hyde? That's the fucking third guy? Holy shit. But she's not really a lost soul. I don't think you really saved her, dude. She just finished establishing she could take care of herself. Uh, move around, everyone will follow, and just control the whole party at once, as I should have assumed. Rallying will disengage you from combat. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's backtracking, I don't want to be backtracking. So let me... Look at this nice little face cam section it, uh, it carved out for me here. I'm sure they did that on purpose. They were just thinking of me. 
Oh, it's kind of weird to have a game that's the, this like isometric view. Also, in that weird lighting I was there, uh, it was kind of like this weird shadow on Snow White, and so she looked like a fucking corpse. Not the not the beautiful fairness that <laughs> she's supposed to be. But it's weird to have a uh, zoom in on this isometric view and not have the camera kind of swoop in. Rather, it just goes straight down like this. You think the angle would change slightly as it, as it came down? That's something I'm used to seeing in this type of game. Flow! We got some good old boner flow going on. Oh no, my flow is decreasing. He can score critical hits which deal five times normal damage. His uh, chance... His critical hit chance is equal to his flow. Movement generates flow for Robin Hood. Oh, just running around generates flow? If you guys are unfamiliar with boner flow, it's a it's a great term. It's uh it's you, and and the top the best boner flow is gravy. So if you were to say my boner flow is gravy today, that means your boner is about as rockin' as it could possibly be. Left click on the enemy. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Regular clicking on things to kill them. I, I I can figure that out. How'd that rat just heal? I swear. Oh, there's two rats. They were just like on top of each other fucking magic rat. The flow is kind of a cool thing. You just run around until you uh, you build up enough flow that you can you can do some sweet critical hits. So that means whenever Robin Hood runs into battle, he, he'll be like extra extra prepared. That's a cool mechanic. Purple experience orbs drop when you kill an enemy. These gather automatically. Uh, that's pointless pretty much. And then and then there's green health orbs. Okay, I, ever since Diablo 3 introduced health orbs, I'm a big fan of that, and I fucking suddenly hate potions in any game like this, because they're just, just a nuisance, really. It's just not worth it in a lot of ways, you know? It's just a fucking pain in the ass. So, I'm a fan of health orbs. I don't care if a bunch of games just, like, straight up steal that mechanic that they invented. I'm okay with it. I like, I'm liking the idea of controlling more than one guy at once. There's a lot of potential for that to be really sweet. And I assumed I could tap between characters. Not the case, but I'm sure there's some other way. Collecting experience orbs, that's what I was going to say. That doesn't make sense. It's just like, why? Why even bother with that? Just give me the experience. I don't want to be fucking around, like, running A to B collecting the these orbs. Just give them to me. Camp. And his other guest, the doctor, whose name was Jekyll, and whose secret was hide. The secret Fred was the fact that he likes to hide a lot. He's just a bit of a coward, and he just he just runs behind and trees and boulders and stuff, and likes to avoid battle. Venture into the forest of Sherwood. On my honor, we will find the paths back to your realms. My outlaw's honor, for at least I can take pride in my crimes. Outlaw's honor. I think you're misinterpreting the point of, of being an outlaw or of what honor truly means. That stared back through the undergrowth. Um, would uh, they be counted as friends of the people? No, said the idealistic fool in green. No, they most certainly would not. So is that not. guy from the beginning the of this, like, actually this. writing out this story and crafting? If is he, like, fight, this omniscient being that's crafting the story? Myself. I'm not certain. They call me Snow White. Uh, Dr. Henry Jekyll. Uh, at your service. Excellent. And I was Robin, Lord of Loxley. And by my bow, I shall be so again. I don't know if this now guy is pulling then, off gentlemen. a very good timid Jekyll Who's voice. Who's first? It might have worked better to just get different voice actors, you know? But then maybe that goes against this narrative of this guy's crafting the story. I don't fully, fully know. Currently playing as Robin Hood, select another character. Oh, you just gotta click on the portrait. I'm gonna stick with Robin Hood at first, I think. Oh, you can also just... there we go, that's much more convenient. Or tap, I guess it just blocked me from doing that before. Different strengths and weaknesses. I assumed, pretty much. Is... is Jekyll holding a gun? Is he... oh no, he's uh, he's also gonna be a melee attacker. Oh, these guys are just regular wolves. They aren't werewolves. For some reason they're really muscly though, and they like to stand on their hind legs and flex. <laughs> 
that if you guys notice in the picture there, in real life when you fight them, they do not do that. Switch the characters in mode. So let me let me see. Aggressive mode, guard mode. Oh, this way I don't have to like be keeping a constant eye on them. Invasive mode. Try to keep out of harm's way. We'll focus on whoever you're targeting or else threatened by. Characters attack anyone they see. I'm fine with everyone just being aggressive right now. Oh wait, was he was he in something else? <laughs> Maybe maybe Jekyll's a bit of a wuss. Maybe I better maybe I better let him. Maybe I better let him be evasive. Now I forget what is what he started out as. I actually didn't get a chance. To, I didn't notice before I went changing it. Wow, these the animations on these barbarians is not great. And also these guys are just kind of hovering around. Like, wow, you're being the worst, Jekyll. You need to get in there. I didn't realize by evasive you meant do fucking nothing. I thought it meant you were just gonna like come and go or like just make sure you weren't the first into the battle. Hey, how come how come all of a sudden now Robin is doing ranged attacks? He wasn't doing that before. I maybe I didn't notice before. Maybe these guys No, the animation on them is a little bit floaty, but it's not terrible. Try and watch those barbarians the next time I encounter a pack of them. They kinda just like it's just it it's it doesn't look great. I think these the textures on these wolves is a little bit like. I'll, also, I I just hurt like everyone at once. Every one of my characters just does like area of effect attacks or something, because <laughs> I, I was really just slicing through the pack like crazy. The textures on them don't look great. They look like a bunch of greasy shiny wolves. Robin Hood has gained enough experience to level up. Leveling up increases stats. Grant them skill points. Click on the book. Okay, so book in the corner here. Spend spend some skill points. Lunge? Is that my only option? Or have these just not been unlocked? Well, let's see if I put... Okay, so I, I put skill points into lunge. Oh no, there's so many different things. I take it back. I don't, I don't want to. Ah, shit. There were so many other things that I could have done. I don't think I... Maybe I didn't actually want lunge after all, but... Meh. What are you gonna do? I guess I'm stuck with it now. How do I use it? Will it just automatically be used every so often? Ooh, big tree man. <laughs> he's not an ent or anything, he's just a tree man. Uh, I'm a little worried for you in there, Jekyll. I mean, you seem to be doing fine, I suppose. I think the world textures look really good. I was ragging on the, the wolves not looking that great, but the, everything else seems to look well done, well put together. Uh, these tree men have an awful lot of life. It said they also were capable of summoning saplings. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I, d I didn't notice them in the back there. Just like fucking around with my guys. Let's open this big chest before I go leveling up. Jekyll. Heathcliff's Iron Ring of Resistance. Gain resistance whenever you have a condition. Has an internal cooldown of 30 seconds. Uncommon Folkstone. Gain retaliation whenever you take damage. So I'll collect it, and then I'll look into how to equip that in a second. Um, is it just automatically? To equip a piece of loot, double click on it to fill an empty slot. Inventory shared between all parties. You have to activate amulets. Wait. Oh, I see. So he just has, rather than having like a full head-to-toe gear, you just have like rings and amulets and shit like that. So just a few things to equip. Okay, but now how do I level up Jekyll? Ah, here we are. Jekyll's skill. So let's make sure we get him something cool then. The cane cyclone? Spins around with his cane extended. That's kind of neat, I suppose. Copies the current buffs. Nah. Resistance and regeneration. Let's see how cane cyclone looks. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? AI skill casting enabled. Okay, so they're, they'll do their own thing when I'm not controlling them, and that's what I want. I don't want to have to worry about micromanaging them just constantly. Poison apple, that seems like something you don't want. I don't know why you would invest in that as a skill. She throws a magical apple which explodes on impact. That's kind of funny. 
you just got a sack of poison apples around with you. I hope that you have it clearly labeled and that it's not like poison apples, regular apples, and they both just say like apples on the sides of the bags. You're, you're really risking a lot there because you might just end up throwing regular apples at someone and that's not going to do a lot of damage. Or you might just feed poison apples to all your buddies. That's also terrible. Uh, Lifeline sounds sweet. Increase in mana can heal everyone around her. Let's give that a go. Can I? It looks like I can't actually go in that cave. It was just a bit of a, a decoy cave. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I was debating whether to do one episode or more, but I think I will come back to this game. So I think next time I'll explore a little bit further down this path, see where that leads, see what it has to offer. So far, I'm intrigued by the idea of controlling the three heroes at once. Uh, the fact that there's not a lot of inventory equipment management could have some pros and cons. I like being able to make sure everyone's well equipped and everything. Hey, Snow White just did her big health blast. But I, I, part of me is thinking like it's going to reduce the ability to really customize your characters. There's some lacking bits of animation and stuff. Some of this looks a little choppy. But so far the storytelling elements seem a little bit interesting, the party management, so the game seems like it has some stuff to offer, so I will come back to it and I will check it out a little bit more. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon.